Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest, and today I'm going to show you our 400 kPa pressure sensor, wireless pressure sensor, working with our EasySense 2 software for the Boyle's Law experiment. Ever so easy and simple to do, especially now everything is Bluetooth. You can have USB if you want to. I mean, this is the sensor just here, so USB can plug in to laptops, Chromebooks, and so forth. But Bluetooth is built in, so therefore it can go straight to our EasySense 2 software. So, Boyle's Law. Need a syringe of a reasonable size. I've got a 16 milliliter one here. If you go too small, you'll pressure it and max it out before. The more readers you can get, the better. So about 60 mil tends to work quite well. We have all lure connectors on here. So we can connect that up on there. Make sure you pulled it out before you connect it, otherwise you can't pull it out after you've connected. So with the our Bluetooth sensors, you hold the button down on the bottom just here for two seconds. We then, it turns on, oh, we had a little bit too long, there we go, and it's now flashing the Bluetooth, which means it's now broadcasting Bluetooth, so we can now pick that up on our software. <clears throat> now, the really good thing is, Data Harvest, EasySense 2 software, will only pick up Data Harvest Bluetooth devices. So it won't pick up phones and all those other things that can be broadcast in Bluetooth within the science lab or the school. So Boyle's law, the law states the volume of a fixed mass of gas is inversely proportional to the pressure providing the temperature stays the same. So obviously we're going to force that down to increase the pressure and let's see what happens. And we can now store that within the EasySense 2 software. Now also with our sensors, on the front is a little white box that's got six digits in it. So when I go and click on devices like I have just done on the software, it will now come up with the name of the sensor, which is pressure, and then it'll come up with those six digits. So when you have more than one in a classroom, you know exactly which one to connect to. If you do happen to connect to somebody else's by accident, it takes all of five seconds to disconnect and reconnect again. So it really doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Right, I shall go and connect onto the pressure sensor. Now with the pressure sensor, I'm gonna take a reading to start, then I'm going to increase it five mil at a time, take another reading and repeat that process. You mustn't let go of the pressure sensor while you're doing that. If you do, you won't get your nice straight line. Uh, I'll be happy if I get a really straight line, but trying to do this one-handed and on here as well. I'm, it should be straightish, but if you keep letting it go and pressing it in, it will not be straight at all. So lots of the experiments we show you. No, you should have one, two, maybe even three students doing these experiments at once. So it's now connected. I'm going to go to set up on the bottom because I want to use something called snapshot. It could just log in time, but then you'd have something on the graph as a line graph, but you have data in between that you don't want. Now snapshot means you can take that reading exactly when you want to take that reading and it's very powerful. So I'm gonna change the continuous to snapshot. I do want to prompt a value because I want to have a volume. I'm gonna type that manual data and call that volume when I learned to spell. <laughs> there you go, so we now got volume. On here, I'm just gonna have centimeter cubed. So that's fine, so we have all that on there, that's fine. Now I'm gonna show the graph in two ways as well. I'm gonna show the graph as a line graph on there, but on this side, I'm gonna show it as a table so you can see both reason, both readings even. So we now click the start button. It will not take any readings until I click on here. So we're on 60 there. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take a sample before I press it. Type, whoops, there we go. Type 60 in there and click save. So you're just reading what is on here each time. 60, 55, 50, so I'm gonna do five milliliters at a time. So we're now gonna go five on there. So remember, do not let it go. I'm now gonna type 55 in here. Save sample, now going down to 50. Take another reading. I'm now gonna go down to 45. Take another reading. Now we're gonna to go to 40. Take another reading. Should be able to get one or two more. So that's 35, take that reading. Now on the last one that you take it, once you go down to your thing you can do, take the sample, you can now let go, even though you haven't added it, it's now stored it, so that's fine. So the last one was 30. And we're now saved. So we've got the information on the screen. What I'm going to do now is just add a formula to this. So I'm going to call this one, one over, have I spelled? Still can't spell, there you go, one over volume. Next part I'm going to do on here is one over C, whoops, uh, CM squared. 
I want to do AX, A over X, and I want to plot it from the volume line. So I can now click Save, and we have that on the screen. So what I'm going to do now, on the bottom here, I'm going to make this one the volume, this one the wrong volume, let's go to the other one, there we go. So have that one on there. Now I can also, the blue one, just get rid of the blue one on there, and you will, whoops, it's gone off, there we go. That's not bad at all. So we're going against volume, against pressure, and that's nearly straight. That's not bad at all. Now again, I think if I had kept it completely consistent and had two hands on it, so therefore having two students on it, then that would work maybe a little better. But again, that's how you can do the Boyle's Law, easily and simply. Now we have lots of experiments on our secondary academy. Uh, we broke it down into three sections. One, how the Bluetooth sensors work. The second is how the Bluetooth sensors work with the experiments. And the third one is videos on how to use the EasySense 2 software. They are all at data-harvest.co.uk and look for Secondary Academy. We also, uh, if you want any further information as well, please just contact us here, sales at data-harvest.co.uk. Thank you very much.